guys, it's almost Christmas. I actually meant to get this vlog out a lot earlier than this, but my computer has been slowly dying on me. I think it's time to upgrade to a new one, but better late than never, I guess. Um, from my last few videos and also right now, you guys might have noticed that I have a new wooden desk and I basically am on a mission to redecorate my studio and just make it perfect, make it like my ideal creative nest. And so this holiday season, I decided I'm not going to travel anywhere far, I'm not going to go on vacation. Instead, I'm just going to be spending most of my time staying in Seattle and working on the house and the studio. My fiance and I are just going to go up to Vancouver for a few days to visit his family and then next month when the flights get cheaper, I'm going to go visit my family. I guess that's one of the benefits of being self-employed is you can travel when it's off peak. So I did really want to maybe go on vacation, go diving somewhere, go somewhere tropical this year, but I think just after all the stuff we've been through and moving and going to all these weddings. We've pretty much been flying like once every month or once every two months and the thought of staying in this holiday season and keeping things local actually made us really happy and we're really fortunate and grateful to have a chance to just kind of slow down and nest and work on the house without having to worry about packing and traveling and arranging for pet sitters and all that. So. I am pretty excited to just be a hermit crab and get some paintings done and continue to redecorate my studio. As you guys can see, I have a lot more plants now. I can't seem to stop buying plants. Um, there must be something magical about them because once I started collecting them and was able to watch them grow, it really just triggered something in me. I don't know. I, I just love the fact that there's life and nature growing in my studio and it just makes the atmosphere around here so pleasant and peaceful. Lately I've been kind of on a plant shopping spree. I'm also trying to get back into the swing of things in terms of uploading on YouTube. I feel like when things got busy these past few months and I kind of fell off the wagon and just lost all my good YouTube filming and editing habits, it just took me a while to kind of get ramped up again and lately I've just felt a noticeable change in my excitement and my um, enthusiasm for filming and editing videos. So I'm kind of glad that I got my groove back, so to speak. And I'm just gonna try to get better at remembering to bring my camera with me and having the courage and self-confidence to film my everyday little adventures. Sometimes I feel a little bit insecure about the fact that maybe a lot of the things that I present in my vlog aren't very interesting or very exciting. They're just kind of mundane everyday things. Like lately, you know, we've just been visiting our friends for the holidays, wrapping their presents, uh, attempting to decorate our house with our very unconventional Christmas tree. We have like this weird white birch tree that we got years ago and we haven't really had the time to look for like a traditional green Christmas tree, although I'm kind of warming up to it. But yeah, there's just so many things I do every day and I feel like I'm very repetitive, so sometimes I just don't have the confidence to assume that people will enjoy watching so many of these vlogs. But I think lately in this year, something that's really helped me a lot is um, being just more open and being more carefree and not letting the stress or my presumptions about what other people think um, kind of cloud my creativity, cloud my interests. I'm actually going to be bringing my oil painting supplies with me to Vancouver when we visit my fiance's family and I'm going to be working 
during the day on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and I'll just kind of enjoy family time and resting at night. Um, I don't actually mind working over the holidays. I think it's actually going to be a really good break because I'll be away from my studio, I'll be away from my um, desktop computer so I won't be able to do anything else except for paint and it's kind of a nice quiet time for me to just calm down, focus, and catch up on my commissions. I'm not sure if I announced this officially yet, but I am having a solo show in May 2019 with Corey Helford Gallery in Los Angeles. They're one of my favorite spaces. It's such an honor to be invited to do a solo show, and I really, really want to do a good job. I really want to make them proud. I know that May seems really far into the future, like five months seems like a pretty significant chunk of time, but if this year has taught me anything, it's that time flies by way too fast and I know these five months will just catch up with me with, without me even <laughs> realizing it. So I really want to focus this month and January on finishing my commissions. I think I have about five more to do and two of them are halfway complete. One of them is already fully complete and I still need to start on the remaining three. They're all kind of in concept sketch stage right now, but I think if I just really put my head down and hold myself accountable, I'll be able to focus. Also these past few months, I think I've lost all of the good habits I had built up over the past few years in terms of bullet journaling and planning out my overall like big monthly or quarterly goals and then breaking them down into like weekly and daily goals. Um, I think because I've felt so frantic and, and chaotic that sometimes when I start my work day, I just don't want to invest the time, like it takes me about an hour usually to bullet journal. I don't want to invest that time into planning out things. I just want to dive in and start tackling my workday right away. So lately I've just been kind of scribbling down a rough, quick to-do list for the day. And although that's better than nothing, I think it's definitely way more helpful if you plan out your long-term goals and your short-term goals. And I think one of the reasons why I felt so behind on commissions and a lot of my projects, and then that results in just like a positive feedback loop of stress and pressure. One of the reasons for that is because I haven't been keeping track of my long-term goals and tracking kind of my progress on these long-term projects. So they just kind of all pile up in the end and then I freak out or I don't know how to prioritize my day. I'll kind of devote all of my time to things that seem urgent, like, you know, shipping orders or answering customer service emails. And while those are definitely urgent, I, I think sometimes maybe I don't divvy up my time wisely enough and I end up getting lost and completely um, letting those kind of urgent but smaller and more temporary tasks just take over my entire day and not devote enough time to working on those long-term tasks such as oil painting commissions. So in an effort to make sure I'm on track, make sure I give myself ample time to not only finish my commissions and you know do good by my clients, but also to give myself ample time to plan for the solo show and work on the pieces and you know, make sure I do a good job. I want to start bullet journaling again. I think one of the things that prevented me from sticking to the bullet journaling habit, as I mentioned before, is that it is a huge time commitment, not only to write out your goals and tasks, but to even draw out the grid for, you know, every day and just the visuals of it took me so long. So I'm going to try using a planner that has everything laid out for me and all I have to do is fill in the blanks. And this is not sponsored, I was not paid or asked to share this. Um, I actually haven't even used it yet so I can't really endorse it, but it's something I'm going to start next Monday and it's called the High Performance Planner. It's pretty intense. A huge reason I was drawn to this planner was because it kind of forces you to take time at the beginning of each day and the end of each day and also um, every week and every month to not only set the right intentions before you start your day but also to reflect on it afterwards. And sometimes I feel like I don't really always know the right answers or I don't really, I'm not really cognizant of the things that are tripping me up or 
making me work less productively. Like sometimes I feel handcuffed by my stress and my anxiety. So this planner, even though it's pretty intense, like there's a lot of questions they ask you and things they ask you to fill out. Um, it does a really good job of at least reminding me on a daily basis to like start my day with the right mindset and the right goals. And then at the end, every week, every month, um, check in with myself to make sure that I'm still on track, both in terms of productivity and also my emotional health. I've rambled on enough about this planner. I'm just really excited to start using it. But as of this weekend and over Christmas break, I'm gonna try my best to just do some painting and enjoy my time with loved ones and friends. Another thing recently that has been so important to me is really making the effort to go out and see people. I know I've talked about this before, but I think as someone who's self-employed and someone who does something like art, it's just inherently by nature very solitary. And so making sure I spend time to not just visit people in person and you know hang out with them at parties and social gatherings, but also to keep in touch and message and talk to on the phone, um, reach out to people I care about. It's just so valuable. It not only helps me stay sane and you know helps create like a good support group, but it also gives me that like reset and break I need from kind of staying in by myself. Um, I often go through these long stretches where I don't leave the house for an entire work week, like five or six days. And by the end of the week, I just feel a little like <laughs> just out of my mind. I'm definitely an extrovert by nature and um, I've taken a lot of personality tests and I always test for extrovert. So not being around people, it really drains me of my energy and I really need to be around people that I enjoy in order to kind of replenish that energy so that I can handle all the stuff I have to do alone during my work week. All right, I have rambled on enough. I'm going to wrap up this vlog now because I gotta get back to cleaning my house. So I'll quickly say goodbye to you guys right now. Um, once again, I can't thank you guys enough for all of your encouraging, sweet comments and your support. I really do appreciate you guys spending your precious holiday time um, watching my videos and hanging out with me in my studio. It really means a lot. I wish you all a really awesome holiday season with your friends, family, and loved ones. And I hope to catch you guys soon in my next video. Bye. Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist. And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and so much more, all available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!